was saying. I'm, I'm more on Angus's side with what he's saying. Um, even though that's not the, the actual way that I was actually taught, but just really just looking at the scriptures, um, just plainly as it speaks, you know, it does speak of that God is, has elected uh, his own and that the sons of God are chosen from the foundation of the world. And I know it's not a, it's not a, a concept that is popular, you know, because, of course, that, that natural instinct in man would like to be able to choose, but, you know, the Bible does lay out quite plainly. And, uh, you know, there's, there's, there's many scriptures, I mean, just one, one particular one, uh, where Christ would speak, would say, therefore, they could not believe. It, it, there's a scripture in John speaking of they, basically people not being able to believe because of prophecy that was already spoken, because you know, Isaiah has already said, you know, basically it says, therefore, they could not believe. And again, John chapter 10, Jesus says, the reason you do not believe is because you are not my sheep, you know. Many, many scriptures that show that it's not really about man's uh, choice, but it's about God's election. You know? And Romans chapter 9 is the, is the key one. It, it does actually speak that it's not of him who wills. It's nothing to do with your will or your desire. It's, it's of God's election. And it actually asks a question, is God unjust then? Seeing as, you know, seeing as it's not up to a person to choose, why does God still find fault? <laughs> and, and the answer to that question is very interesting. You know, who are you, old man, to answer to God? God does as he chooses, you know. So, I mean, it's a, it's a very uh, difficult truth to accept, but it is the word of God. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Yeah. You know, hang on a minute. Let me just quickly wrap things up before I give you guys two minutes each. This one is from uh, Chris in uh, Wales. It says, hear me, brother. That last caller believed in universalism. Explain to the viewers that you don't agree with that or people will think you agree with him. Bless you, brother. I don't believe in universalism. I don't believe in Arminianism. I don't believe in Calvinism. I believe in the Word of the God. Word of God. Amen. I'll give you one minute and uh, one minute each. Okay. Yes, well, praise God. We have a lot to do with in one minute. So I'm going to hold you can, I, can I say that? Uh, Keep this, going. Excuse me. This, uh, <laughs> this, this uh, confrontation of opinions and ideas about the Word of God has been raging for centuries and we could not hope to answer it. Uh, in 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 a one and a half hour show, uh, there are many well learned scholars that have gone and died before us that have written whole volumes of books defending each case. And again, there is merit in both of them. Uh, I just want to leave on the note that God is absolutely a loving God and reaches out to the wicked. Isaiah chapter sixty five it says, "I I am I sought of them that asked not for me. I found of them that sought not for me. I said, Behold me, behold me unto a nation that was not." called by my name i have spread out my hands all the day unto a rebellious people which walketh in a way that was not good after their own thoughts that bless is the you. love of god one minute starts now <clears throat> starts now cprc.co.uk <laughs> send me an email or a post all my details are there we've got pamphlets on calvinism i'm going to charge you for this <laughs> and you said that was not allowed really. john 12 <laughs> verses 37 to 40 john 10 verse 26 this verse is quoted there should be read here's romans 9 it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of God that showeth mercy. Salvation is not of the free will of sinners. Verse 21. Hath not the potter power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel unto honour and another unto dishonour? What if God, willing to show his wrath and to make his power known, endured with much long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction? That's reprobation. That he might make known the riches of his glory and the vessels of mercy. That's election. Election to glory. Proverbs 16, verse 4, The Lord has made all things for himself, even the wicked for the day of destruction. 1 Timothy 2. Hold. Ah. Thank you. You know what? I'll send the bill to your company. <laughs> I got your card. <laughs> so we we'll charge you for this. On that one, I want to thank you so much for coming over tonight, both of you. Pleasure. We're going to do it again. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. Well, you know what? Whatever you do, don't touch that dial. Keep on praying. The Bible is the only word of God. Don't worry about anyone that went before you. Read this by the power of the Spirit. Bye for now.